ever since the reveal of Scipio Emilianus, everyone in the Rise of Kingdoms community has been asking themselves, man, they really should implement a fourth Scipio already. I mean, come on, like, what are we waiting for? You know? No, but in all seriousness, everyone's been talking about this new rally commander in Rise of Kingdoms because it seems like he has actually quite a bit of synergy with a lot of different commanders in the game. And so today I'm going to cover all these little details that I've started to realize over time in part with help from you guys in the community. And this is going to be an important discussion about the future of rally and garrison meta. So make sure you stay tuned. But first, what's going on, guys? Cheers. Since we're talking about rally and garrisons, I just want to remind you guys the mega well mug is still on sale down below. And before we begin, if you enjoy discussions about the meta here in Rise of Kingdoms, drop a thumbs up on the video. It helps out the channel a ton. And also leave a comment down below if you know where this logo is from. Okay, if you missed my previous video about CPO Emilianus, check that out because that's where I'm going to go in depth into all the different skills that he provides here on his kit. And that's going to be really important for understanding the rest of this video. Now, I've spent some time understanding what this kit is actually actually doing and I've realized that there's actually quite a few pairs that you could use with CPO Emilianus depending on the scenario now the first obvious pairing that we're going to be talking about here is William Wallace now I did a fully in-depth video about William Wallace covering all the things you missed about him during the release and one of the things that I pointed out about William Wallace is that on his fourth skill this only works when you're attacking a troop on the map okay so if you do a rally with CPO primary and with William Wallace as secondary and you're hitting a flag fortress or pass then this is actually not going to do anything which is definitely a downside to this commander pairing and before we go any further I just want to be very clear that I feel like CPO Emilianus probably has to be the primary commander this is something that I completely overlooked when I was making my initial video about him but there's two important things that were mentioned in the comments of that video a lot of you guys pointed this out and also I think Chiskel mentioned this in his video but the debuff on the target for the active skill here the target taking 20 percent more damage for three seconds that is insane for a primary commander because that means the secondary commander is going to deal basically 20 percent more damage with their active skill so if they have a strong active skill it's going to be 20 percent stronger here which is like nuts the fourth skill here gives you a two second silence but only if CPO is the primary commander. Okay. It says if this commander is serving as primary, then they will be silenced for two seconds. So for both of those reasons, I really think that CPO has to be the primary commander. And also he's got the conquering tree. We have to see how the smite tree looks when it's fully in the game. And really, I think that's not a big deal when pairing with William Wallace, especially because the 40% bonus damage for a 1000 damage factor or greater smite hit is going to most of the time apply to the much stronger 20 700 on CPO compared to the slightly weaker 2400 damage factor on William Wallace now it's worth noting that this has a 10 second cooldown and so once you get a 40 percent bonus here it's not like you're going to get a bonus from the additional uh, second hit from William Wallace right so keep that in mind so all in all between these two the synergy seems decent but I don't think it's going to be like the number one best rally pairing and here's why first of all again this skill literally does not work when you're going to be hitting a flag fort or any other stronghold and also the the expertise on William Wallace is pretty good for open field fighting, but really it's not that good for rallies, right? Like removing slowdowns for a rally is pretty much irrelevant because you're, you're just connected to the target. It doesn't really matter. And getting a shield for yourself. I mean, when you're hitting a, a when you're hitting a pass or a flag or a fort, like you're going to be taking so much damage every turn that this 1000 damage factor shield is probably going to crack after the first turn anyway, even though it lasts for two seconds. Like, I, I don't know. It just, this doesn't seem like a great expertise for rallies, especially with the long cooldown there. So because of that, I don't think that this is necessarily going to be the number one best rally pairing in the game. However, I will note that the fourth skill here does work for counter rallies, right? So you're defending a pass, they rally your pass, you counter that rally. This could actually be quite a good counter rally option for you. We'll have to wait and see. There's other pairings though, that I think could be a little bit better. So we'll talk about that in a second. It'll really just come down to how good the smite tree actually is for these two, because they are both smite damage commanders. But as a counter rally, you will get the bonus of this, which is quite good. So it actually makes this uh, a better counter rally than it does a regular rally, if that makes sense. Now, the other thing I want to point out here is they revealed four of the talents for the smite tree with William Wallace. And I feel like this was an opportunity for them to reveal four more talents in the smite tree, but they just didn't. I don't know why they didn't do that. Maybe they're still working on them. Maybe they don't know exactly how they're going to be balanced, but yeah, I really wish like this feels like a missed opportunity. They really should have shown us more of the smite talent tree with CPO Emilianus's reveal. Okay. So if we assume that William Wallace isn't necessarily the best rally combination, who might that be? Well, I honestly think, and I mentioned this in my first video, but I do think Tark is 
probably going to be the rally meta for infantry okay now i mentioned that possibly tar could be primary because the defense tree i no longer believe that after looking more closely at the skills of emilianus i think that he's probably better suited as the primary but the synergy here is shockingly good now of course this is a skill damage commander unfortunately but really i don't know again we'll have to see the smite tree but i really don't think that'll matter too much right there's not like a ton on the emilianus kit that is like boosting just smite damage right in fact there's actually nothing here that only only boosts smite damage everything here is I mean there's a five percent normal damage bonus but like that's that's pretty much it here right so it's not like you're losing out on a ton of smite damage multipliers by using Tarek as the secondary so I think this is probably the play now the reason for that is first of all the 2500 damage factor on Tarek hitting during the debuff window of CPO as the primary is going to be insane and plus that is going to be amplified if somebody else is trying to swarm down this infantry rally so you are going to hit that target like an absolute truck also you get a lot of infantry attack here which is not a stat that Emilianus actually has and for rallies you do want to have some attack on that rally right like of course with crystal tech you will have some but with the infantry attack bonus here I think you're going to hit even harder with Emilianus which is very nice also if you thought that Cav Garrison was ever going to be a thing I think again there's absolutely no way we just got like this was the thing about them releasing that most recent Cav Garrison Eleanor I, I literally forgot her name already like she's so irrelevant but they introduced her and then immediately I feel like Emilianus with Tarek is going to trade so insanely positive against her that it's actually a joke like as if she wasn't a joke already I just don't see a world where she does literally anything she's reducing the skill damage she takes like there's this is such a this is such a bad commander this is just such a bad garrison it's unbelievable right this is just a, an absolute joke and now it's already like hard countered okay which is hilarious but also Tarek is going to give you 30 percent defense as well in the rally so you're going to get 40 percent attack 30% health from Emilianus and 30% defense from Tarek, which is actually kind of insane. And also you have a 30% chance to reduce the normal damage of the target by 30% for three seconds. Now it has an eight second cooldown. So that is a very long cooldown, but think about what the most common garrisons these days, right? We're looking at Gorgo garrisons, especially if they have Attila, right? And so here we see a, a passive debuff that's going to reduce the damage of that target by 30%. That includes smite damage, right? Which is actually kind of insane. So yeah, I mean, not only are you countering any cab garrison, but also like there's a little bit of of counter to the existing meta also you get 15 percent more all damage and you have an 80 rage per second for three second debuff to the target eight second cooldowns a lot but that's a lot of rage reduction to the target and you're already going to have a massive amount of rage reduction from the fight or flight skill on the smite on the smite talent tree okay so you're going to have such an insane rage advantage over this garrison because you you just have multiple ways to reduce their rage and also the expertise on Emilianus gives you 40 percent faster rage regeneration for two seconds whenever the target uses an active skill so not only are you really going to be slowing down the skill cycle of that target but once they do cast you're going to get more rage as well and so like I feel like the discrepancy in skill cycles is going to just be insane with this commander pairing like so much rage reduction it's it's nuts and also silencing the target here with Emilianus right so there's going to be some turns where like they're just not gonna get to cast even when they do get enough rage like I, I feel like you are just you're like suffocating their rage engine here with this pairing it seems kind of broken so to me this seems like the number one commander pairing for rallies for infantry you have Emilianus primary as an Antaric secondary but that's not that surprising to most people what I think might be surprising to most people is that we might have to start dusting off Harold again okay and this is a little bit weird but please Please hear me out here of course we're gonna do Emilianus as primary once again and if we look at the active skill on Harold yes the damage factor here is very old at this point okay but there's a couple of things that are worth noting anytime Harold uses his active skill you get a 20 percent bonus to damage dealt for two seconds this is amplified by the fact that Stamford Bridge gives you a 20 percent chance to cast it randomly okay it's a five second cooldown but if you've ever used Harold in the open field you know that you cast this active skill an insane amount okay it's popping off all of the time so I think his lower damage factor could be offset by the fact that you're going to be casting this active skill a lot and you're going to be getting that bonus damage now where does the synergy actually come from here though because this is not actually synergy the synergy comes from the third skill okay 
you get 30 percent attack and 10 percent march speed that's great and also whenever you use your berserk skill which is your active skill you lose five percent defense but gain five percent attack and you can stack this 15 times and the duration resets whenever you gain another stack okay so what does this mean well you can stack up to 75 percent attack and the cost is you lose 75 percent defense which is historically very bad but there's a catch first of all anytime that you use Stanford bridge you gain an immunity to that debuff for three seconds which is kind of good but look at the third skill on my boy here okay whenever their troop is hit with a basic attack it has a 30 percent chance to dispel all health and defense debuffs currently affecting it and for the next three seconds you'll also gain immunity to health and defense debuffs and take 25 percent less normal damage so what this means is when you dispel the stacking debuff on herald okay it's better than an immunity that you would get from the fourth skill on herald because a dispel will completely reset the counter that you've been stacking from this herald buff okay so not only are you dispelling it but you're probably never going to hit that 75 percent defense reduction because you're just going to be getting rid of it you're going to be shrugging it off every time that you that you get hit with a base skill attack now i know there's a five second cooldown there but like that five second cooldown is kind of irrelevant because first of all three seconds after you remove that debuff entirely you're immune to getting it again from Herald and also when you do sometimes cast Stanford Bridge you're also going to be immune to it here as well so like the dispelling of the defense reduction here is just way better than the immunity that we already see on Herald but not only that you're also getting another immunity here on Emilianus right so hopefully you guys can understand that like what this means is you can stack up to a maximum of 75 percent attack plus there's already 40 percent attack on Herald right don't forget there's 30 percent here but there's 10 percent here when you're rallying okay so you actually get 115 percent attack from Herald and there's basically going to be like no downside to this because you're just going to keep shrugging away the defense debuff and the times where you don't dispel it you're going to be immune to it from either Herald or from Emilianus so this rally pairing is going to have 30 percent defense and 115 percent attack that's insane I know that the damage factor on Herald is low but again that attack buff is unbelievable and also like I said you're going to be popping this skill multiple times but it doesn't end there because the expertise on Herald kind of makes it really hard to swarm him down right you get 20 percent more counterattack damage and that also stacks up to 20 percent if you're being swarmed by up to 10 targets okay so here we have a really hard hitting pairing that really can't be swarmed down or if they do swarm it down it's going to hurt a ton especially because when they swarm it you're going to get circular aoe here and also the more times that you're hit with a basic attack so while you're being swarmed the higher the probability that dawn of rome is going to cast basically every time it's off cooldown right i mean 30 percent chance is really high whenever you're hit with a basic attack so the more you're being swarmed the higher the probability that you're not going to ever have that defense reduction from Herald this pairing seems really good you guys I don't know if it's going to be better than just the raw damage on Tarek with the rage reduction but I think it's worth testing right because I actually think that this is more anti-swarm than Tarek right because the bonus counterattack damage on the expertise the Herald is going to be insane and again circular AoE when he swarmed so I'm really looking forward to seeing if people actually dust Harold off the bench I would love to see that because Harold is one of the coolest designed commanders in the game I love the Vikings I think their theme is just so awesome we need more Vikings in the game Lilith please instead of adding a fourth CPO please give us more Vikings in the meta okay but we're not done there because we also have to talk about Liu Che right like Liu Che is the OG Giga Chad smite damage commander and there's a lot to love about this pairing even from a rally perspective now here's the thing with Liu Che okay the third skill only works when you're attacking another troop on the map so this is another one of those instances just like with William Wallace where if if you're hitting a flag fortress or pass or any sort of city or stronghold then this skill will not do anything okay which is definitely a downside but also there could just be so much synergy with the rest of the kit that it might not actually matter like we're getting a five target massive smite damage 
and you're getting a primary smite commander with Emilianus. He has the smite tree, right? So like the bonuses from that tree could actually just be insane for Liu Che. You're also getting the defense that you're missing. You don't have any defense on Emilianus and you take 20% less skill damage from whatever garrison that is. Now, of course, if it's a Gorgo garrison, this doesn't really matter that much, but also you're getting a 10% bonus to the normal damage, which includes the smite damage on Emilianus. And whenever you deal smite damage, the target deals 10% less damage for three seconds. Plus you get the extra basic attacks from Liu Che's expertise, which is just an even better rage engine for Emilianus, right? So I don't know guys, like this is, this could be a pair. And it's also worth noting that just like William Wallace, this could be a counter rally pair that puts AOE damage on the board. Okay. Now, again, this will work against a rally. So that's very important to know. And also this AOE on a counter rally, like it's going to make it much harder to reinforce that counter rally because this is the strongest AOE in the game, you guys. And it hits five targets, which is just absolutely insane. I don't know, guys. It's, I mean, maybe this is not tanky enough to be a counter rally. Same thing with like uh, William Wallace, right? Like they might just not be tanky enough to be counter rallies, but it'll be really interesting to test this out and see how that AOE damage does do behind a massive rally like Emilianus. Now I saw some people bringing up Pakal, okay? And it's it's for good reason. Right now we use Pakal in the rally meta. I personally don't love this pairing. I mean, I think people are mentioning it because he has 30% health. And so you'll have a total of 60% health on this pairing, which is actually insane. But the shield here at this point is pretty pathetic. The damage factor is pretty pathetic. You do get 40% attack for rallies, which is really nice. And you're removing all of these debuffs, but it's a 10 second cooldown. And also like, you don't really care about slowdowns. If you are a rally, what is the probability you're going to be um, poisoned here? Probably not right. Like, yeah, if you're being swarmed, sure. You're going to have some poison stacks, but like, there's no garrison in the game that really gives you poison right? The exhaustion effect is inflicted by Chandra Gupta. So like, you don't really care about that. So like removing these, these debuffs, like, I don't know, maybe, right. But like, you're already going to be shrugging off the defense and health debuffs from Emilianus' skill anyway. Right. So there's a little bit of like, they, they kind of overlap. So it's not that impactful. The damage reduction on the fourth skill is nice. And the counterattack damage on the expertise is nice. But again, if you're looking for counterattack damage, I feel like you'd be better off with Harold and Harold's going to be dealing more damage overall, just in general with his active skill. Right. So I don't know. I don't love the Pakal pairing. Um, I, I see where people are coming from, but I think Pakal's a little bit old. And I mean, so is Harold, but just the synergy with Harold seems shockingly good. Whereas the synergy with Pakal doesn't seem like it's quite there. Um, I could be completely wrong about this. There could be something about the Pakal pairing that I'm just missing that everyone else just understands. So I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see on that one. But the final commander that I want to talk about for rally meta is actually Attila. And you guys probably saw this coming because Attila is like a smite damage commander basically. Okay. But what if you did Emiliana's primary with Attila secondary, and this would have to be obviously in a KBK where you have the artifact that can convert Attila into an infantry commander. And if you do that, you get another defense reduction here, which Emilianus already has an attack and defense reduction here on his fourth skill. So you're going to have two defense reductions here between the two of these commanders, and you're going to take 15% less skill damage, and you're going to get 40% infantry attack. You get bonuses to all damage here with your basic attacks, long cooldown, not that impactful, but also you can't be silenced and you deal 20% more normal damage to troops with less than 50% of units remaining, which in a rally scenario is very powerful, especially when we're talking about a smite damage commander like Emilianus, right? This is a 20% bonus to his already mega powerful active skill. And again, not being able to be silenced. I'm not saying that there is a great silence garrison out there right now, but anyone trying to silence you with a, a swarming Guan Yu, for example, not going to work. Really, you probably shouldn't be swarming with Guan Yu anyway. He's kind of squishy, but you get the point. I don't know. This might be something that we look at. Is it going to be better? Then some of the other pairings that we've talked about, for example, the Tarek, I think is number one and the Herald possibly coming in at number two. I think those are the two best ones we could be talking about for just straight up rallying. And if we're talking about straight up counter rallying, I think we're also probably going to be looking at Herald and then maybe William Wallace or Liu Che. But yeah, I think every commander we've talked about in this video has to be tested at some point because I think there's just going to be something really powerful about Emilianus, his kit and the smite talent tree. Of course, we will have to wait to see more and see what's actually in that smite talent tree for sure. 
but I personally am very excited about what is going down here for infantry. This might be the strongest that we've ever had an infantry rally. I mean, Pakal Herald was really good back in the day because you couldn't swarm it so much so that those commanders are still sometimes used to this day, but or I guess not so much Herald anymore, but I mean, this could change things, right? Having Herald back in the rally meta, I think would be amazing. And I really hope that there is some synergy to be had there. Cause I think that would be super cool, but guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. What do you think about the different commander pairings that I've mentioned here? What do you think is going to be the best pairing for infantry? For the rallies and also for the counter rallies i would love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below i read almost every single comment that i get even if i can't respond to everyone i do try my best but definitely let me know what you think in the comment section below and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video you guys might think that you're subscribed but a lot of times you might not actually be so just double check down there and of course it is free you can always unsub later if you don't want to sub with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this this has been Amiak. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.